Where did all yeah. this call out come from? I know obviously you competitors in the market. Well, right? three years ago, you were talking about kicking my ass. Oh, you think you beat me? I said, would you put money on that? And he went, yeah, 50 grand. Danger, danger, just flew out the hangar. Out the darkness, darkness, hide they made us. Found the light, now I've been on the rise. Woke the hive and now we all alive. All alive. Hit me with your best shot. Hit a roadblock, but I don't stop. Try to throw rocks, I might throw a knock. Hey, I know where to hide when it's dark out. Hey, uh, uh, uh. How seriously are you taking this? I'm, I'm training like 10. a world champion. I've already won the fight. Okay. I already worked out how to win the fight. I've already won the fight. What do you think is going to be the conclusion of the fight? Massacre. That's, that's how I feel. I'm very comfortable. I'm very confident in the ring. I'm not stressed at all. And when it's dark outside, it ain't nowhere to This is my little, my little home gym. <laughs> nice. So the trike, is that your main piece of uh, training equipment, this little one there, the blue one? Or do you generally favour the red and the uh, yellow vehicle? <laughs> so basically, I got my battle ropes. Right. I got my punch bag. I got some light weights for just doing shadow boxing and that. Yep. Skipping rope. So when I started working with Samuel, the goal was, we said six pack in six months. That was the kind of the plan. So we started working together and we got him to lose a decent amount of body fat. I think we did about 10 kilos in the space of a couple of months. But then he tells me he's got a boxing match against Rob Moore. I know that the greatest boxers in the world aren't always the most aesthetic. I mean, look at Tyson Fury. The guy is freaking unstoppable, but he's not exactly Brad Pitt in Fight Club, is he? So it's like, right, I've got to get Samuel Ripps but then I've also got to make sure that he's fit for a boxing match and that he wins the boxing match, more importantly. So it kind of changed the plan with regards to what we were going to do with his physique a little bit. I was thinking like just a bench pressing that on here. Yeah, I mean really what you need is a power cage. Yeah. So if you've got a power cage, you can bench, you can do all that kind of uh, compound stuff. I've got a medicine ball. All right, nice. But he wants to look freaking amazing. And he's, he's, got, he's got the height for it, so he's got the long limbs, he's got the frame to build a really good physique but doing just boxing training isn't going to get him that look. So we'll probably keep incorporating the cardio type aspects that he's doing, but now we're going to focus on nutrition, getting him rips up and just building some serious muscle. So quite excited about it. Because the goal is obviously we want to get you looking good, but we want you functional as well. So if, uh, if Rob Moore should decide that he's brave enough for a rematch after you destroy him, then what he you won't can want do... a rematch. No. <laughs> <laughs> so he won't want a rematch. <laughs> Why this is important to Samuel now, and, it, and I love this freaking little soundbite. I've got the house, I've got the wife, I've got the kids, I've got the wealth, I've, got, I've, I've built everything, but I'm a fat bastard. And actually, despite being massively confident, he is quite, you know, body conscious and aware of how he looks, and he wants to kind of portray that all around image, really. I've known Samuel since. 2014. So fitness hasn't been something that Samuel always did, like when I first met him. I'd say the first time that he got into it, that I saw, was when we just had our first baby. When I went on maternity, three months before having our baby, he was like, oh, I'm also gonna just like stop working and I'm just gonna be at home with you because he wanted to really immerse himself with being a dad. He was just at home and he was bored all the time and he had so much energy because he wasn't working. And then he decided to sign up for an MMA fight. So that was the first time I think that I've seen him really get into something and push forward with all the fitness. And he did win his MMA fight. And yeah, and then I'd say it's kind of been in fits and starts. So he gets bursts of times when he's like, right, really want to be fit. And then it'll kind of just fall off a bit. When he started getting fit for this boxing match, 
I think that's after a year of sort of just not being in that headspace of wanting to be fit. So it's kind of restarted and rebooted him again. My name's Sully, personal trainer, fitness coach. Doing this for about 10 years now. So we started about February, end of February. So, you know, coming up to four, four-ish months, four and a bit months, so be five months by the time we get there. I think Sully and him get on really well. And Sully is so professional, but I think they have a bit of banter. If I'd have known you could do such good massages. <laughs> you wouldn't have been that bird coming round. <laughs> For Samuel, he needs that. He wants someone that sort of can just kick his ass, because Samuel's quite brutal with his clients and his students. And I think he needs someone who can be the same with him in fitness, not someone who's soft and will just let him off. Like Sully is really, really strict and hard. I've been training him literally how I train for my fights because I'm still, I mean, my last fight was last year. I'm, I'm training him, pushing him hard and he does everything. I do does everything I make him do, so. Cool. Uh, step them, body shot. Um, um. Uh, where's the body turn? Turn. Um. That's it, again. Uh -huh, let's go. Every shot, exhale, then inhale straight away. Ish, ish. Uh, every single time. <coughs> yeah. So I'm gonna finish Rob, overhand, <coughs> body, <coughs> finish. One more, one more, big, 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 big. That one, that's what you gotta do, man. Smash the body, smash, he's gonna give you, his hands are gonna drop, he's gonna give you his head. That's when the overhand comes. And now we're here in Barcelona. We've got the heat, we've got the, you know, a little bit of humidity as well. Different environment, we did it on the beach, so when we was on the sand, we had a lot of resistance. So that was really good, that was really hard. Training in the sea as well, again, resistance. So it's different terrain, different environment. Look at the target, look at the target. <laughs> yes, you want the liver, look at it. <clears throat> uh -huh. <clears throat> Hard, whip it, whip it, whip it, smack it. I don't think many people know how to train this hard. I push myself very hard, so I don't give my fighters anything less. I push them to the limits that they can do, and then a little bit more too. So there's no way Rob's getting this kind of training. There's no way Rob's sparring with the level of people that Samuel's been sparring with. There's, there's no way. So I see it, it's gonna be very difficult for Rob to, to do something. So only way Rob can do anything is if 
Samuel literally lets him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah back to back. About an inch taller. I look forward to knocking you. Prick. Fucking prick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Watch the equipment. Oh, my calves are killing me today. Like my whole legs are stiff. Last night, I announced for the very first time that Sully was my trainer because I've been keeping that secret because I didn't want, if everyone knew that Sonny was my trainer, I might get my opponent, Rob, like trying to be able to see stuff. So I kept, I just thought it'd be better to keep it quiet. But as the fight is only like a week away now, I thought I'm gonna, I'll announce it. It went crazy viral, it's had like thousands of likes and stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Cause I'm, I'm massively into honoring those that help you. So I've had to be super quiet about it, but I've been constantly wanting to post but it was good to be able to do that. Even though he tortures me. When I was like 19, 20, I used to fight for fun and I had, you know, I had it, always had it in me to fight, it's fun. But then when I was like, got a bit older, became wealthy, my business, put weight on, what are you fighting for? There's, there's, there's nothing. And then I thought recently, I was like, I'm 32 years old now. If I stay fat and I never do it, by the time I hit 40, it's like, oh, I could have if I'd have tried. Nah, man, I didn't want to be like a has-been or one of those guys that are like, well, I, when I was 19, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, nah, man, I want to fight now and I want to be the best version of myself now. Have I gone too far? Do you detect something different? If you look inside my head, would you say something's missing? If you could give all your riches just to say the word, would you risk it? These politicians so old can't tell if the dead where they living. Better ask Kathy Griffin, you know I like to raise stakes. We was always taught to hit the gas, we ain't even know they made breaks. We control our own fate, watch your dreams take shape. Try to keep us out, we gon' freak out, turn this bitch to water cake. Every time I have a session with Salute, he always finds a way to make it harder than the last session. So yesterday, on the beach, it was hard. Keeping your footwork in the sand, moving around, it was exhausting. But then today, he had me running on 18 on the treadmill, which is as fast as the treadmill goes. But you know they say, train hard, fight easy. So, I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm not expecting it to be easy, but I am expecting it to be a win. Cause I'm at my prime. I'll tell you something interesting. About six months ago, when I first started training to box a little bit, we decided all my staff would have like a bit of a, um, a staff competition. We were at Centre Parks, me, Ibby, oh, okay. all the guys, my friends, my sales guys, my property friends, and we were all boxing. And it was fun, and we were all kind of messing about boxing. Now, I can't do that anymore, because now, if I bring any of my friends, any normal person to come and spar with me at my house, they're getting banged up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're now bringing down these guys kicking my ass, which humbles me because it wasn't for you bringing those guys. Now I'm, I might be thinking, I'm so good, I'm brilliant. But because you're bringing guys down that are, are actually good, that kind of, you know, I come back on a Sunday saying to Amanda, oh, I'm not that good actually. I thought it was good. It's, it's, it's humbling. So we're here in this hardcore gym in Barcelona, one of the realest gyms we could find, recommended by someone on Instagram. And we got here, and I've asked if I can spar, but the, uh, the guy I've been dealing with, I don't know who he is, he said, yeah, you can spar at the end. And I'm watching him spar, and the one guy, the black guy, has cleared out a lot of fights. I've got a feeling that he's gonna wanna spar me, and he looks tough, so, We'll see how that goes, that should be fun. Okay, 
So the one guy in the gym who's prepared to spar with me wants to move from Spain because the level in Spain for boxing is not good enough. So he wants to move to America. And now I'm about to spar him. I'm ready. Let's see what happens. We are not. Something's always coming back. We hit and miss, hit and move. I need it in Go for that body shot again, it's working every time. My heart, soul, I go. Super tiring, he was going a bit easy on me I think, but made, uh, made me miss, made me pay. But, it's not an easy sport, man. Not an easy sport at all. I'm trying, man. No chance, man. Nah, I don't think so. I don't want to say that to you. But Mate, you know what? You're gonna fuck Sully it. was the same. Sully was like, so he didn't want to make yeah. me have a confidence. So he was saying like, nah, yeah. man, he's, he's quicker than you. He's got better reach. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah. as we're getting closer and closer to the fight, now Sully's like, I think you're going to fuck him up, bro. <laughs> Every week, just getting rounds in, sparring, training with him as well, with obviously Coach Sully. He's doing well, like he's coming leaps and bounds. So when I first started with him, you can see like the determination has always been there. We're just about getting the technical ability, the skills up, and it's one thing watching him fight, but when you're in there with him, you can feel it. Like as the week's getting better, you're having to think more, you have to be more calculated, like making sure that your defense is upright, because if not, like, he's a big boy. He's got heavy hands like me. If he hits you clean, it will hurt no matter who you are. I'm not really into boxing, I've not really done much before. My background's in like fitness and CrossFit and stuff. I've mad respect for people like Samuel on the journey that he's gone from like the weight loss and the transformation that he's done. It's a really good sport to kind of dive into. It shows discipline, it shows resilience, and you've got to go through like so many different aspects of fitness to be good at it. I think it's a really good sport to get into. It's like a crazy experience, I'm not used to it, but he left me with a nice, nice bloody nose at the end, so. So I've been training with Sally for, I would say, start of the summer. He uh, hit me up yesterday, said that you want to go sparring with Sam and a couple of other guys, and obviously couldn't uh, turn down that opportunity, and here I am. Surprising, very tough. Definitely a pit gang. Hits like you got hit by a chain almost. Very, very powerful. I didn't move around as much as I could, obviously, because I knew that he had a powerful shot, but I was quite surprised how well he controlled the center and cornered me, essentially, to um, limit my options, essentially, for the movement. Three, two minutes round with Sam. Oh, but the uh, top, top five uh, workouts, um, I have to say. When we first got in the ring, woof. Oh, you got a big hill, but he's climbed it. He's, uh, he's far past the novice. He's a very good amateur now. Uh, yeah, he can handle people. He's good. He's very good. Remember the first time we were boxing around? I used to just running around the ring. Now he's fine. Yeah, he's healthy. He's off here. He's been doing cardio. I've never seen somebody so dedicated at anything they do and fitness and just getting to a point. Yeah, he's always stepped up, amazing. I should have dropped him, though. Should have dropped him. He was hurt. <laughs> he was hurt. This time feels like, I think it's almost like a lifestyle change. I, I really think this time he's just going to stick with it now. I think with boxing, he's found it being fun. Usually it's been like, oh, working out, but it's not easy to do something that doesn't excite you. Whereas with boxing, I think he actually enjoys it. So I think if he carries on just training with trainers, doing fitness through boxing, I think he's going to sort of keep it up now forever.
big boy. Seven you coming was 118 kg, man. I think when he started, so. But he hasn't missed one Sunday of sparring since then. He's turned up to, you know, every training session, which I'm happy about. It makes sense when you do something like boxing and the training for boxing. That's what happens, man. You feeling deadly for Saturday, mate? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm to totally ready, man, and excited. Mm. What's your prediction, Samuel? My prediction? I'm going for a knockout in round two. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Do, you, do you know anything about Rob's fight and do you kind of know his strengths, weaknesses? Yeah, I think he's going to be like, I think he'll fight like this. <laughs> 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 well, mate, I'm terrified already. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, that's genuine. Oh, really? Fight. Yeah. What was that? Is that drunken monkey style, or what was they yeah, call? What do they call that kind of? No, uh, I think he'll fight like, like, like very runny away, keeping it like this. And that. Yeah. Like every time I come in, come at me if you come at me if you come Got at me. Oh. In the five months we've been working together, we've dropped about 45, 50 pounds. So we've done about twenty kilograms, about about three stone or so. As far as I'm concerned, to be able to speak for four days a week, running these crazy seminars where we had to build him a Nando's nutrition plan where his team would literally, I went through the Nando's menu and his team would just grab him bits from the menu and make sure he stayed on point. To be able to do that, to be running his, his big team and do all, all of those things and be, you know, going on a holiday from time to time, boxing for an hour a day and still lose that much weight. And, you know, I'm pretty chuffed with what we've achieved. Right, moment of truth. Right. So the, yesterday I was 59.6. Oh, second blur. Come breathe in, zoom me Eliza. So did you, sir? You joke? Oh, that's... Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah. Oof. Exactly. 15, 7. What the hell, man? Oh, did you do that to crack the soul? Did you do something to make do that? No. Oh, go on again and you'll see it's the same. That's, mate, it's amazing. So you've, already, you've literally already smashed your goal for a week. My predictions for Samuel's fight. At first, and Samuel's going to kill me, I... I, I thought, no, he's not going to do it. When I saw the first videos of him boxing, I wasn't, I wasn't that convinced. But recently, I mean, his stamina has gone through the freaking roof. And actually, when he came to my gym and I saw him, I did some pad work with him. Boy, he can hit. Like, his right hook is pretty freaking dangerous. He really, he can really connect. So, yeah, I, I've completely changed around now. And I think, yeah, I think Samuel's going to, uh, I'd like to see Samuel knock him out. Very least, he's going to put some blood on his face. So Samuel win. I predict it will be a knockout. I think it's going to happen. I've heard a little bit about Rob Moore and his background, but if Samuel's been putting in the work as hard as he is today, every single session for the last 12, 16 weeks, it's ridiculous. I think he's going to beat his ass, honestly. I'll be surprised if his opponent has as powerful shot as he has. I think it's a win, no doubt about it. Samuel's going to knock him out. He's been training hard for it. He's mentally ready for it. A lot of people doubt his fitness, but he's got a big tank. I know he's saying knock him out in the first round. I hope he just punishes him for three rounds and finishes in the third. That big right hand will come crashing in, and like I said, if it lands clean, no matter who you are, you will feel it. When you look in his eyes, when you're in the ring against him, it's like there's fucking fire in there, he wants you. So I think that that like, dog like mentality that he's got is going to get him the win. Six, power shoulder. Seven, good. Eight, that's it, step into nine, and that's it, breathe. Deep breaths.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. The scorecards are in. And the winner, by majority decision, in the red corner, Samuel! I trained very hard for this fight. As you can see, I, my body's transformed. I was a different man to the man that Rob agreed to fight. But uh, I've always been underestimated in business. Everyone always says I'm a talker and not a doer. I think this proves I ain't a talker, I'm a doer.